Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Erosillian here. In today's video, we're going to be going over key mid lane warding spots. These are going to be really, really important for you guys. Warding is a really underrated concept in the game. And if you have these down, I'm sure you're going to have one thing down to help you climb. So the first one we're going to go over, assuming you're the blue side, is the 120 chicken ward. Okay. As mid laners, you kind of want to drop this ward because it's going to prevent you from dying to a gank before the five minute mark. And let me explain why. Right? Say you know the enemy jungle starts on red buff, okay? The only way you know this is through this ward, right? You can assume maybe that, you know, their top lane leashed because he showed up late, but you'll find that the higher elo you go, a lot of players tend to maybe fake leashes. Some junglers will go leashless. So it's best to have evidence rather than just make assumptions. So with this ward, if you drop it at one minute, 20 seconds, it'll actually last until 250. That's a pretty long time, especially because it takes about two and a half minutes for, for junglers to usually clear one side of the map. So assuming their jungler starts red, right? Because you have this word, you're going to be able to, um, you know, see them, you know, do this camps, maybe do chickens and then cross over. It's really ideal because, you know, for the first two minutes and two and a half minutes, for example, you're going to potentially get ganked from this side. Uh, their jungler can either gank top or mid, and it's your responsibility to communicate to your top laner that their jungler is here. And as a mid laner, you want to be playing on this side of the map, okay? If we draw this mid line, you want to be standing over here because it's a lot harder for you to get ganked while you're standing on this side, okay? If you're standing here, it's a lot bigger of a gap close than if you were to stand maybe here, right? You see that? So you always want to stand directly opposite from where the enemy jungler is, right? Um, it reduces your probability of getting ganked. Now, because of this ward, you're going to know exactly when they cross over, right? So maybe he just does red buff and he crosses over to blue and grump. Well, then what do you do as a mid laner? You position yourself accordingly. You now stand on this side of the map, right? If their jungler is over here, you want to stand directly on the opposite side, okay? So yeah, this is really going to help you avoid ganks. Okay, now the other thing, why does it help your team? Well, if you know the jungler started red side, right? For the first two and a half minutes, let's say, he's probably going to be around this side. You, well, you know he's going to be here. Um, he can only really gank two lanes. He can gank top, he can gank mid. And so we talked about how you should be playing uh, in lane to, to help avoid ganks. But if you see your top laners overextending, right? It, it's your responsibility to sort of communicate with your team. They might not have the best map awareness, but with your wards, because you're better than them, you have to communicate this to them, okay? The other thing, if we see them finally cross over, let's say they only do red and they cross over, right? Even before the two and a half minute mark, well, you know now, right? Your top laner can now resume to play safely. You can cross over and he's gonna clear this. This ward will help prevent you from dying to a gank and your team dying to a gank before the five minute mark. And I'll explain why, right? So two and a half minutes spent on this side, he crosses over, he's gonna do this. Scuttle spawns at 315 guys, right? So you can assume that if he's going for this scuttle, he's probably gonna be here uh, until 330, right? On this side, right? If he's there till 330, there's only two areas he can gank after that. He can gank mid, he can gank bot, right? As a mid laner, we discussed it, right? You should be playing on this side of the map, right? It, it, it's you know, directly opposite from where he is and it's going to be a lot harder for him to gank you. On the contrary, if you see your bot lanes overextended, so if you see, let's say your bot lane is pushed up here, right? Like they think they have crazy prio, they're pushed up here and you know their jungler's around, you need to ping them back and communicate that their jungler's there and they can back up. And you know all this because of that one word you dropped, right? You know he's there. So let's say everyone's playing smart now, right? You, you backed up, you're, you're playing correctly, their bot lane now backed up and they're playing here and their jungler's like, well, I can't gank either of these lanes now. What is he going to do? He's going to go reset. Now it's around the four minute mark. If he started red side, where do we think he's going? Well, he's going to go back towards red side, right? These are the first camps up because this is where he started. So he's going to go to where the first camps come from. Junglers, you have to remember, they only get golden EXP through these jungle camps. They try to follow a linear clear path. And not even that, guys. Like, these are just the first camps up. So you know he's going to come here. So again, now you position yourself accordingly. You stand on the opposite side, right? Just tracking the jungler is going to help you a lot. And that one word at 1 minute 20 seconds is going to be a game changer. Cool? Drop that word. Get in the habit of dropping this word. Okay, the next wording spots we're going to talk about are anti-gank words. Okay? What I see a lot of you guys doing is dropping words in this push. This is so bad, right? This is really bad because it does not... What if their jungler did something like this, right? It does not give you a whole lot of vision. And even if their jungler does gank you from this river, sometimes it could be too late. 
right? This word spots them too late, especially if it's someone like a Hecarim who's just running through, right? And he's going to give you that gank. A really good word that I like to drop is something right here. And uh, let me explain why, right? So looking at this map, let's see where you could possibly get ganked from, assuming you're on the blue side, right? You can get ganked like this, like this, like this, right? Maybe like this, right? We see all, these are probably the only pathways that you're going to get ganked from. Okay, you can argue something like this, but that's pretty highly unlikely, right? Um, so this word right here, it actually covers off all those pathways, right? That we talked about. It'll actually give you vision on everything, right? You can even word somewhere like right here. If you want, this is also fine. I usually prefer this one just because it gives me vision sooner if they're coming from here, which they usually are. Um, but either, either of these words are okay. Just do not be lazy and word this push okay not a good word now on the other side let's do the same analysis right where can we get ganked from we can get ganked like this we can get ganked like this we can get ganked like this right we can get ganked like this do we see a common crossing point i think i see one right the pixel bush this is a pretty good place to drop a word here right it'll cover off all the all the pathways we talked about right easy peasy this is a great word you can also argue you can maybe drop something like this these are great words this however not a great word right you could also argue that well you know this word wouldn't really capture if their bot lane did something like that right well this is the responsibility of your bot lane there's only so much you can do guys but these are these are words that are really going to help you out as a mid laner because i dropped these words because i dropped these two crucial words one right here and one in this pixel bush i find myself barely dying to ganks right it's something i really pride myself in i think my wording is something that has really helped me get as far as i've come so i really want you guys to get in the habit of this okay trust me guys wording is key do this and you will climb. Hopefully you found this video really helpful guys. Um, but until then, see you next time. Erozilla and out.